Hey y'all, this is my first video. Uh, you just saw a transition from November 18th of last year uh, when I cut my hair all the way off. This is August 13th, August 14th, 2016. As you can see, my hair has grown drastically. I might add um, hair journey, but I'm pretty happy to say nine months later, that after cutting my hair off, it has grown all the way up here. This is just a little bun. I'm actually about to wash my hair and um, go through uh, the routine, the regimen, I guess you could say, that I've been doing. Again, um, moisture retention shampoo uh, by Shea Moisture. And then the restorative conditioner, uh, the Shea Butter Collection. And then I also use the deep uh, mass treatment. And when I'm doing like twist outs or braid outs or when I feel uh, that I want to wear my natural hair out uh, for not wearing weaves or braids or anything like that, I'll use the Curl Enhancing Smoothie to help with my twist outs and braid outs when I'm doing it. And my oil, my favorite oil that I like to use is a uh, black castor oil, the Jamaican black castor oil. Uh, this oil is very, very thick. So, um... You know, it doesn't require a lot of usage when using it. Um, I try to uh, melt mine down like with boiling hot water uh, just to reduce the density of the oil because it's it's really, 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 really thick. You don't want to just slap it on your hair because it's, you'll, your hair will be very, very slick because it's so thick. Uh, so I do suggest um, uh, looking at different methods to make the oil less dense. I just usually boil hot water. Uh, to make the oil less dense. So I'm gonna go wash my hair. So here my hair is freshly washed uh, with the Shea Moisture Shampoo, the Shea Butter. Uh, so now I'm gonna part my hair into sections and I'm gonna apply the deep mash treatment to my hair. And I'm gonna part it into sections because it makes it a little bit easier to apply it uh, and so I can like sort of kind of detangle uh, and apply it evenly to my hair. The deep mass treatment has been applied to my entire head and I do not have a plastic cap so do not judge me. So I use a plastic bag instead and I'm going to let it sit for about 20 minutes. So after I washed the deep mass treatment out of my hair, I parted my hair into four sections while it was still wet. And I'm going to begin to apply some um, leave-in conditioner to my hair so that I can begin doing my twist out. I can't even find this shit in my journal. Like, as I'm doing the two strand twist in my hair, I'm using a water bottle to spray my hair so that it can remain damp. I'm also applying the curl enhancer, the curl enhancing smoothie, sorry, by Shea Moisture to my hair. And I'm using uh, the black castor oil to seal my ends. I'm also applying some of that oil to my edges where I lost some of my edges wearing wigs and braids. Uh, so I'm just applying some of that oil there just so that can grow back. So here I'm applying some leave-in conditioner mist by Cantu Shea Butter just to add a finish to my hair. Apply your silk bonnet and go to sleep. Maybe I just need just one more lock and a little more shade. So when I wake up the next morning, I take some more oil and I rub it against my rub it through my hair. And I begin to unravel the twist. Just so I can go. 
says give it time it'll be all right she's looking bright yet i might be tight so after I finish unraveling the twist, I take a wide tooth comb, or you can use a pick, to pick at the root. Make sure you pick at the root and not the tip of your hair so that you don't comb out the two strand twist. I also put a little part down the middle just the way I like it uh, for my styling. And I begin to add some eco styler using my toothbrush to gel down my edges and add the bobby pins just so that I can have a little more volume in the front. And just like that, I am finished. I'm just gonna take a scarf to lay my edges down.